I'm Dana Hillisland, Technical Support Manager at Vermont Photo Inkjet. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to use our refillable cartridges for the 7890-9890 and 7900-9900 printer models. Get your workspace set up and thoroughly read the written instructions before beginning. Have an empty refillable cart, make sure the cartridge position and ink match, a funnel, and a priming syringe. Familiarize yourself with the cartridge parts. On top is the fill hole with plug. Here is the chip and the exit valve. The air inlet point, which you want to remove the orange plug from, Shake the ink bottles before filling or refilling carts and open the ink bottle by removing the silicone plug or cutting the foil seal. Remove the plug to open the fill hole. Insert the funnel into the fill hole. Then pour ink into the cartridge by holding the funnel with one hand and pouring with the other. The ink level should be about one half inch from the top. Remove the funnel and reinsert the fill hole plug. Remove the orange plug from the air inlet port. Take the syringe with priming tip attached and insert it straight into the exit valve. Pull the syringe plunger to draw ink up the exit channel and stop when ink enters the syringe. Remove the syringe and the cartridge is now primed. Refill your carts when there is still some ink inside and don't let your carts run totally empty. Shake the ink bottles before filling or refilling carts. Remove the plug to open the fill hole. Insert the funnel into the fill hole. Then pour ink into the cartridge by holding the funnel with one hand and pouring with the other. The ink level should be about one half inch from the top. Remove the funnel and reinsert the fill hole plug. There is both a maximum fill line and a minimum fill line. To reset the chip, gently position the chip resetter over the cartridge chip and press gently. The light will flash red a few times, then turn solid green to indicate the reset was successful. Carefully cut off the top of the plastic nub holding the chip onto the cart. Then the chip can easily be pried off the cart. Take a small piece of double-sided tape and attach it to the back of the new chip. Folding any excess over the back. Now with gold contacts facing the front of the cart, press it into the chip area on the cart making sure it's flat and flush.
This chip isn't flat and flush, as you can see the front edge is raised. This is the chip sensor which is inside your printer's cartridge chamber. The thin sensor wires can be easily damaged if a cartridge is installed with a chip that's not flat or no chip at all. You can see the sensors inside the ink bay. They're very difficult to replace. The ink levels that show on the LCD display reflect the percentage of ink remaining on the chip. They may not accurately reflect the amount of ink that is left in the cart. That depends on your filling habits and when you reset the chips. So please monitor the ink levels by looking at the cartridges themselves. You should agitate pigment inks in their carts about every two weeks. Raise the locking lever to unlock carts, then remove and shake each cart, holding its exit valve down to maintain prime.